Warnings turned to action last night for Iranian-backed rebels in Yemen who have been attacking ships in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. Willie James Inman has more on the American and British airstrikes on Houthi bases. U.S. F-18s taking off from aircraft carriers working alongside the British Royal Air Force carried out a series of strikes on Houthi rebel bases in Yemen in retaliation for attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea. We will make sure that we respond to the Houthis as they continue this outrageous behavior along with our allies. Coalition aircraft dropped more than 100 precision-guided bombs in more than 16 locations, including the capital city of Sana'a, command centers, missile and drone launch sites, and air defense systems. Dozens and dozens of targets struck, again, intended to degrade and disrupt the, the capability of the Houthis to conduct these kinds of reckless and illegal attacks. The Biden administration had been reluctant to carry out airstrikes on the Iranian-backed Houthis for fear of further spreading military conflict in the Middle East. But this level of international cooperation shows that this plan has been in the works for a while. It was done in partnership with our allies to defend themselves, so I think it was an appropriate action. Congressional leaders were notified of the strikes ahead of time, and the White House had bipartisan support, but some of the right criticized that the airstrikes didn't go far enough. It won't change the equation. The Iranians could care less how many Houthis die, how many people from Hamas die. You'll never get Iran through their proxies to back off until you hit Iran. The Houthis are vowing retaliation. <laughs> prompting the U.S. Navy to warn American ships to stay out of the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden for the next 72 hours. Willie James Inman, CBS News, The White House.